Hey, it's David Elder, and today on Texas Eats, we're traveling all across the Lone Star State, going to great restaurants you won't want to miss. Get ready for a Southtown coffee shop that's serving up a variety of great drinks, including their popular Coco Cajete. Wow, that is really good. Plus, we go chewing and cruising with Jordan Ford in a brand new 2024 Bronco Raptor. We take a drive to Eagle Pass for a popular barbecue spot that's serving up one of the largest chicken fried steaks in Texas. All that and more right now on Texas Eats. Our first stop on today's foodie adventure is at Eagle Pass at a family owned and local favorite restaurant, The Wagon Wheel. Self-proclaimed mom of the restaurant, Selena Bonteo Price, took ownership of the restaurant after her father passed away in 2015. My father, uh, late Hugo Bonteo, started this business back in February the 2nd of 1996, and I worked alongside with him for 19 years uh, until he passed. Selena runs the restaurant with her son, Paco, and daughter, Paola. We had a passion for cooking, and this was all we knew. And thanks to my son, my daughter, my husband, we came together, and here we are now. The family prides itself on offering great quality food, large portions, and friendly service. So nothing is pre-made. When it comes from our kitchen to your table, there's nothing but freshness in every single bite. The Wagon Wheel has received plenty of attention online lately for its gigantic country fried steak. I'll tell you what, there's over a pound of meat on that steak alone. Every morning we have a local market that cuts anywhere from 60 to 100 steaks for us, depending on the day of the week. And so we get them fresh cut every single day and then they are battered here um, in-house and prepared as orders come in. I'm sold. I mean, you know what? We got a fork and knife right here. Definitely. Let's go in. I'll, I'll cut you a, a little bite right here on the outside. Sounds great. Cheers to you. Thank you. There Cheers. we go. The chicken fried steak. Mm. It's so tender because it's so fresh. Super tender, lightly breaded on the outside, but oh my gosh, the crunch you're getting on there. And it's about the seasoning. Right. I mean, it's not just this flavorless, huge thing that's there to grab attention. No, this is a meal packed with flavor. This is phenomenal. I tell you what, if you're feeling extra hungry, you get the chicken fried steak. I guarantee you won't eat for a week. That is loaded <laughs> up. <laughs> The Wagon Wheel received a recent write-up in Texas Monthly Magazine, applauding them on their revamped barbecue menu, which features pecan smoked prime brisket and sticky pork ribs. Look at this, super tender, falls right apart, and then it holds up on its own weight. Cheers to you. Cheers to you. All right, brisket. Mm. Delicious, every bite. We take a lot of pride in our brisket. We take wow a lot of pride in everything we do. I want to try those pork ribs. Mm, yes. Because these get sliced up, sauced up right there. And Please. these are no joke. Look at the inside, beautiful smoke ring on there. I'm gonna take a bite. Oh man, super tender. And then that seasoning, the bark that you have, the smoke flavor on here, outstanding ribs. These are incredible. Now, this right here, this is a beef rib. Look how this thing loaded up once again. Super tender. It's it's top notch. This is top tier Texas barbecue. The Wagon Wheel and Eagle Pass has been one of my top spots so far for 2023. Stick around, because later in the show, we're joining Selena's son, Paco, in the kitchen to whip up their amazing country fried steak. A country fried steak at massive proportions here. And well cooked. Hey, well cooked. Hey, I'll You're take well it. Cooked. Yeah, you know, thank you so much. Thank you. If my hands weren't greasy, I'd give you a hug. Thank but you. I tell you what, I'm gonna take a bite out of this big old dino beef rib. Oh, that's insane. All right, let's do it. Today on Taste of Texas with Shiner Bach Beer, we're making a lemonade mojito. And to get started, smack some mint in your hand to get all those oils out, put it into a glass, chop up some lime, and then muddle this into a glass. You wanna get all of that juice out of there, so make sure you muddle it well. 
simple syrup on top, stir it around, let it sit in there so the flavors really get married together. In a chilled glass, add ice and then strain out that simple syrup mixture. Put an ounce and a half of tropical Bacardi rum, absolutely delicious. Garnish with a lime and some mint and then top it all off with a lemonade shandy from Shiner. Stir it around, sip on it, tastes like a Jolly Rancher, absolutely delicious. A great drink for the summer. Now we're here at the Jordan Ford dealership for an episode of Chewing and Cruising. And the vehicle that we're cruising in today is a 2024 Bronco Raptor. This thing is decked out. I don't know why they gave me the keys to this thing, but we're gonna be driving around. We're gonna go to a hot spot to go grab a bite. Plus, we're gonna be talking about all the features inside of the vehicle. Let's go for a ride. The handles are nuts. I mean, you can already tell it's got some good grippies to it. I don't know if that's a technical term. Oh, that's pretty nice. <laughs> it just sounds good. So zero to 60 in five seconds. And it's got the twin turbo V6, which is a great engine if you're looking for fuel efficiency and power combined together. The blind spot monitoring. And then all of the features on the actual wheel itself makes it all user friendly to have it all like right here. You got a lot of buttons, I'm telling you. You look like you're about to launch into space with this thing. Pulling up to the cook shack here at the farm. It's got the little beep beeps. We got a little bit of everything out here at the Cook Shack. Check this out. You have a two tender and half rib combo meal, and you got the fries on the side, sauce. You also have pulled pork loaded fries with a coleslaw. Tons of flavor, lots of sauce on that one as well. Look at the size of this wrap. Look, that's my hand, and there's two of them that come out with this thing. And then you got the sweet potato fries on the side. And right in the front, you have the chicken and waffles combo with the mac and cheese on the side. This mac and cheese is top tier, super creamy, velvety texture on there, sauces on there as well. Loaded mac and cheese. If you love mac and cheese, look at the size. The portions on this are great. You also get the slaw on top, and you can change it to any spice level you want. You can go as crazy as you want, you can keep it mild, whatever you want to do. And of course, if you're thinking about staying a little bit healthy, right? This is like healthy adjacent, nice salad on the side. They got a lot of bites over here. Let's dive in. That's the one to get. All right, here we go. The chicken and waffles. crunchy on the outside. It has so much flavor on there. You can just have the waffles by themselves. It's delicious. The powdered sugar, the syrup, the chicken, everything works. The Cook Shack was a great option for us to come here for chewing and cruising inside of this Ford Bronco Raptor. This thing is nuts. We're going to hop back in, take it for another spin and check out more of its features. At Jordan Ford, they have a great selection of Broncos right now, so you can go check them out. Plus, you know, it's always menu pricing, so you know what you're going to get. And right now there's large discounts on the Bronco. So when you go talk to a representative on the lot, they're gonna help you out, get you what you need to get today. And you drive away happy every single time. And of course, top dollar for trade-ins. So you can bring the vehicle in, they're gonna give you the best offer that you can possibly get, put it towards the vehicle. And if you're a well-qualified buyer, you can get 0% interest on the vehicles. So get out there, get a great deal, jump in a Bronco. They got a big selection and get a big discount right now at Jordan Ford. This 2024 Bronco Raptor is a great ride. And to get more information on all the deals and all the vehicles out here at Jordan Ford, just go to their website, www.jordanford.com. We head inside the kitchen at the Wagon Wheel to learn how they're making these giant chicken fried steaks. And next on the show, get ready for a Southtown coffee shop that's serving up a variety of great drinks, including their popular Coco Cajete. Texas Eats is coming right back after the break. Welcome 
Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now it's time for one of my favorite segments that we do here on the show. It's carpooling with Casey. What's going on, Casey? Man, how are you? I'm doing great. We're in Southtown in San Antonio, and we're ready to get some coffee. And I found a spot for us. It's got a fun name, and they got some great drinks. It's called Eight Ball Coffee. Have you had it before? I have not, but I love coffee. And I like trying new spots. So let's go inside Eight Ball Coffee and see what they got on the menu. Joining us now is co-owner and brother out here, Ben Antiveros. Thank you so much for having us. Your other brother's back here working, man. I can hear the machines going. And of course, Casey Ogletree's in here with us. Now, you have three different drinks right here. You also have latte art, some cookies. Talk to me about 8-Ball Coffee. How long has it been here? We've been around for two years now. We were previously a truck just up the street from us. And until December, we moved into a brick and mortar. Uh, yeah, we haven't looked back. That's awesome. And like, you know, the cups, they have the, the number two on there, and that's celebrating your, your two-year anniversary. Is that correct? May 6th was our two-year. Yeah, we're very grateful to make it a two. I, I was like, where should we go for the next carpooling with Casey? <laughs> I'm a guy who has five ways to make coffee in my own home, so I, I love coffee. <laughs> you got to tell me. i got to count it out. Tell me now. An espresso, Keurig, drip coffee, espresso machine, and a pour-over. There you go. <laughs> Let's go, Casey. <laughs> All right, so when you heard coffee, you were like, this is your jam. This is my jam, absolutely. All right, Ben, so we're going to go down the line right here we're gonna start with this one so what's going on with this one what are the flavors in there how is it made uh this one's just gonna be a cold brew with seems like vanilla and some cream you got it iced as well so you got a little you said vanilla in there a cold brew takes 24 hours to steep this cheers you guys the cold brew that's the sip how much coffee do you drink a day honestly not that much really? <laughs> yeah <Okay. laughs> about a about a cup a day a sip here of that and this and how much That's coffee it. do you drink a day? Five to six a day. What? Are we talking like cups? Yeah, like five or six of those a day. You don't want to know how much I drink. It's too much. Right next to it, what's going on with this one? So this is just going to be an iced latte with our Coco Cajeta syrup that uh, we created. So it's like a mix of like Mexican caramel and coconut. The Coco Cajeta. Oh, wow. That is really good. I could drink a whole gallon of this stuff right now. Last but not least, this looks like matcha. What is this one? Yeah, that's matcha. Uh, we make matcha lattes, hot or ice. This one is with our house made lavender, which our sister actually creates. It's three of us, me, my brother, my sister. We all kind of created our own like signature syrup that we make in house. I like I like a good matcha flavor. How do you feel about matcha? I like matcha, absolutely. A lavender matcha latte. Cheers to you guys. That is Fruity Pebbles. Yeah. That's cereal milk right there. That's a good description, yeah. Fruity Pebbles. Man, I was like, man, what is that? Yeah. That's like a childhood memory right there. Yeah. <laughs> just getting hit with nostalgia. Just, oh! Eight Ball Coffee off St. Mary's, celebrating two years in San Antonio. It's a family owned and operated coffee spot. I gotta say the Coco Cajeta and then this lavender matcha right here, it's hit. Shake the eight ball, have some good luck every morning. Thank you for having us. Cheers. Right. Casey, I don't know about you, but I'm all hopped up on coffee right now. You guys, 8-Ball Coffee is an amazing spot. And of course, if you want to get great deals on cars to get your way out here to 8-Ball, head on over to Jordan Ford. You guys have great deals going on SUVs right now, right? We do. You can't beat it. 2.9 for 72 on all SUVs. It's a great thing. And to find out more information on all the deals at Jordan Ford, of course, go to their website, www.jordanford.com. Next up, we head inside the kitchen at the wagon wheel to learn how they're making these giant chicken fried steaks. Got this gravy. I'm just, you know what? I'm gonna pour it right on top. Everything made in house, made fresh. Don't go anywhere. Texas Eats is coming right back after the break. Mark, you got a brown banana in your hand. What's going on? This is not a very good looking banana, okay? So inventory to a car dealer is a little bit like this kind of a banana to a grocery store. When they've been around too long, all of a sudden the price goes down. Here's two examples right here. These are both 2024 Ford Edge. I've got them priced at 33.9. I've got literally 110 brown bananas on the lot of different makes and models that the customer can choose from. All they have to do is come in and ask one of our salespeople, I'd like to see a brown banana sale. Well, come on out, ask for the brown bananas, and of course you can go online, jordanford.com. Earlier 
here on Texas Eats, we visited the Wagon Wheel in Eagle Pass. We met with Seleta, the owner and self-proclaimed mom of the restaurant, and heard the story of how the family-owned business came to be. My father, uh, late Hugo Buentello, started this business back in February the 2nd of 1996, and I worked alongside with him for 19 years uh, until he passed. We had a passion for cooking, and this is all we knew. And thanks to my son, my daughter, my husband, we came together, and here we are now. Now, we're headed into the kitchen with Selena's son, Paco, to cook up their famous country fried steak. Thank you so much for having us in the kitchen. And you're gonna be showing us how to make your famous giant country fried steak. You actually brought this onto the menu. You were inspired to bring this on. What was your inspiration behind it? So pretty much we're known as, the wagon was known for Texas barbecue and uh, obviously we're running out of barbecue fairly early throughout the day and we wanted to bring more to the community. So I decided to change it up a little bit and add a few more items to our menu to help extend those hours just a little bit. Just a little bit? Just a little bit. That thing is just a lot of bit. That's a big old piece of meat you got there. Now, this is a, a great cut of meat that you're using. I'm actually going to hold this guy up. So this is cut and butchered every day. Butchered and cut every day here locally. And we get about 65 to 100 eats a day. Now, you got your station set up for me right here. I'm going to get to work. Yes, sir. So just your basic all-purpose flour with a little bit of pepper just to add a little bit more flavor to it. You know, not too much spice, but just great. You know what I mean? The, the steak itself, it's already pre-seasoned. All right, I'm going to shake off the excess. I go dry, wet, dry. So I'm going to switch hands. Here's my wet hand. I'm going to go into the wet. I'm just going to kind of give it a quick little flip here. And now your final step, you have like a panko bread right here. Is yes, that correct? Sir. Panko bread, already pre-seasoned with our home seasoning. You really want to try to get your hand in it and pound it. I was going to say, now you, I was going to ask for your technique here because some people like to pat it in, some people don't, but y'all like to pat it in, right? Yes, sir. Make okay. sure you don't miss the spot. I got to keep that quality, that high quality, exactly. uh, the, the, the standard exactly. of excellence that has been set here. And you got to make sure the first hole comes down like the last one. That's Probably. right. That's the goal here. Right, does, that, does that look does it look like it's good to go? What do you think? I think we're ready. Let's rock and roll. All right. So this thing's absolutely gorgeous. You can see it went through the dredging process, and now we're gonna throw it right into the deep fryer. Now it's time to pull it out of the fryer, and this thing looks absolutely beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. You got this gravy. I'm just, you know what? I'm gonna pour it right on top. Everything made in house, made fresh. Right on top, smoked paprika. Country fried steak at massive proportions here. And well cooked. Hey, well cooked. Hey, I'll and take well it. Cooked. Yeah, you know, besides the food, why people come back out here all the time is because the service, the family that you've created with these people, and, and just the amount of hospitality that you have out here is top notch. Now take a bite. All right, we're both going in. Let's take a bite. You ready? I'm gonna go in on this bad boy. I want, I want a bunch of gravy. Yeah, <laughs> sir. Cheers to you. Thank you so much for having us out here, you guys. Wagon wheel, come on out here. It's amazing food. Guys, Cheers. my pleasure. Cheers. Mm. Don't go anywhere. There's more Texas Eats coming up right after the break. Hungry for more Texas Eats? Be the first to check out our exclusive content by searching Texas Eats on YouTube. Plus, get notifications when we upload new content by subscribing to our channel. We're showcasing the best bites from across the Lone Star State, including burgers, pizza, barbecue, and tacos. Search for Texas Eats, subscribe to our channel, and watch Texas Eats anytime on YouTube. Hey, it's David Elder, and today on Texas Eats, we're traveling all across the Lone Star State, going to great restaurants you won't want to miss. Get ready for huge onion rings being served out of an iconic restaurant on the river in green. Plus, we check out huge cinnamon rolls in Bernie. And we cruise to a food truck making some of the best bone-in fried chicken in the Alamo City. 
All that and more right now on Texas Eats. Now, we're heading out to Green, home of the historic Green Hall, to see what's cooking up at the Grist Mill, a popular tourist destination residing inside an old cotton gin built in 1878. I'm torn. <laughs> Which one's your favorite out of the two sauces? I can't choose. Oh. You gotta go for both. The Grist Mill offers a family atmosphere and a down-home Texas experience, ingrained with decades of history and a stunning view overlooking the Guadalupe River. Joining us now is General Manager Larry Abel. Larry, thank you so much for having us. Appreciate it. Thank you all for coming out today. Man, you guys brought out the goods. We We're did. talking cocktails. You guys got some ice cold beer and all the dishes that have made you uber popular in green. But talk to me about how long you've been here because it's actually for, it's been quite a while, it's right? It's been quite a while. This would be my 24th summer at the restaurant. Out of 24 summers, <laughs> what would you say is your favorite bites? What are Larry's favorite bites? A couple of my favorite bites, of course, is the standard chicken fried steak. You can't have come to the grist mill without a chicken fried steak. Then we've added a couple new items. We've got our bony and chicken, amazing, tender, juicy, with our fall of the bone tender ribs. Now I want to talk about the building real quick though. Sure. It's located right on the river in Green. If you haven't been here, you would can sit right out here and you can look at the river while you're enjoying your meal. One of part of the ambiance of the restaurant is the ceiling with four windows. We're inside, we're like a tree house, but we're outside. We can definitely look over the rail, see tubers floating by, good old time sitting outside, feel the breeze, have a margarita, have a cold drink, and have a good bite. You're good to go. Now, what makes your chicken fried steak stand out from other places? Well, it's fresh beef cutlet that we make to order, double battered buttermilk, and to me, the topping is the gravy. Chicken fried steak with gravy, that's the bite. It's early in the day and I would finish this whole thing right now. Talk to me about this dish. It's our jumbo fried shrimp with our homemade cocktail sauce, homemade tartar sauce, good to go. Which one's your favorite out of the two sauces? I can't choose. Oh. You gotta go for both. You got eight shrimp, so you got four for cocktail, four for tartar. We have sandwiches here in the front as well. This is like a club sandwich, right? Loaded up. Turkey, pepper, bacon, avocados, lettuce, tomato, and our homemade prime sauce. And then the fish, also a light choice. Rainbow trout, topped with our chipotle butter and a special steak seasoning for it with our veggies, zucchini, and squash. And then right here, a steak sandwich. That's our beef tenderloin sandwich. Cheese, avocado, lettuce, tomato, prime sauce, garlic bun. Hits the spot perfect. Oh my gosh. And the ribs and right the ribs. here. Award winning ribs, baby back ribs, tender, fall off the bone. Amazing. All right, Larry, so we're going to dive into these ribs right now. And then we're going to go into the kitchen. You're going to cook up an item for us from start to finish. What are you going to make for us? We're going to make our homemade onion rings. Ooh. Let's go into the kitchen and make some onion rings. You ready? Yes, sir. Now we're in the kitchen here at the Grist Mill. I know it's loud in here, y'all, but Larry, you're gonna show us how you make your breaded onion rings, and we're gonna fry them up and try them out. So what's the first thing you do? Actually, the first thing we're gonna do is get a colossal yellow onion and slice it up, peel it out, do our first dip. Now, is this like a buttermilk, right? That is a buttermilk, and this is our seasoned flour. Take it, and we're gonna set it here. So that's just the first breading process. Just right? the first breading process, yes, sir. Cake it on just a little bit so the next stage it will stick a little bit more and make that extra crunch we're looking for okay here we go chipotle ranch cheers to you thank you so much for having Listen, us out thank here thank you sir come check out the grist mill y'all absolutely fantastic today on taste of texas with shiner bach beer we're making a delicious and refreshing lemonade shandy cocktail First, slice up some limes in a glass with ice, a shot of Tito's vodka, a splash of simple syrup, a splash of grenadine, a whole lime. Squeeze that in, stir it around, and right on top, you put the Shiner Lemonade Shandy right on top. This stuff is delicious. Fill it up till it's all the way at the top of the glass. Stir it up one more time. Garnish with the lime wheel. This is a super easy and refreshing cocktail, perfect for the hot summer days. And with or without this cocktail, that new Shiner Lemonade Shandy is absolutely refreshing and great by itself. An amazing drink. Now, we're heading out to Bernie to pay a visit to the oldest bar in the Texas Hill Country. Plus, it's also home to the TikTok famous Texas sized cinnamon roll.
Joining us now is the co-owner out here, Joey Sanders. Thank you so much for having us. We're so happy to have you. Thank you so hey, much I'm for excited. coming. I'm excited. I don't know anywhere where you can get sushi, pizza, steak, and fresh scratch-made bread all in the same space. So I will be here every day of the week if I can. But talk to me about the Richter. How did this all get started? Well, my husband and I um, have a varied background, but we've always really been keen in the culinary scene, and I'm very big into wine. And so we wanted to open up a space, especially here in Bernie, that the people in Bernie really wanted. And it was actually the people in Bernie that said, hey, can you have pizza? Hey, can you have sushi? So we're excited to be able to like cover everybody's taste and have like just a huge, great experience here at the Richter. The Richter, though, is also known for, like you said, you're bringing the wine game into this. How many different bottles of wine do you have here? I have over 130 wines oh. here in the tavern and up in Oban, and then downstairs in the Cork and Keg, we have around 75 wines. Wow. We like to try and mix it up for everybody so they can try all different stuff. And we have fabulous cocktails. Mike Rogers is our spiritual leader. Everything's done fresh in here in-house. So we're in the tavern space, right. but the building itself, how many different kinds of businesses are here? We have a lot of different businesses. We have a dress shop, we have a jewelry shop, we have a bookstore in-house, and then also we have the bakery that does all our fresh baked breads, but also we do coffee and ice cream, and well, we even have boozy ice cream. I'm sorry, but does Bernie need anything else? You got it all right here. I, I, well, I don't know. We try, right? You wash cars in the back, yeah. like they got it all. You can get a haircut somewhere <laughs> around here too, I'm sure. Oh yeah, just down the road. <laughs> I want to talk about some of the items that you have out here. Specifically, I'm going to start with the pizzas. This is our Mediterranean pizza. So it's a pesto sauce, nice med veggies, like onions and olives. We like to lighten it up with the arugula and, and top it off with some feta cheese. And what's going on with this one? So this is our bacon brie. Again, a, a pesto sauce, um, spinach, bacon, um, and then balsamic. <laughs> Joining us now is Frank Ramirez. He's the executive chef out here at the restaurant. Now, Frank, we've heard a lot about you. I've seen what you've done, and I'm excited to be back here with you. What's the first thing you do to make these tuna shrimp nachos? So we do, we have a, a sushi grade ahi tuna. We'll have the shrimp in the name, so you gotta highlight both evenly. Look, I mean, how much do you put on here? I can get crazy. You can put them all on there. You can. You put the whole thing? You can fill it all up. Oh man, okay, I like your style. Then what we do is we top it off with a little bit of black uh, tobiko on top. So that's your sriracha mayo right that's on top? sriracha mayo right on top. And you got a little bit of micro greens over there hanging you got out? a little cilantro micro, you can just top it off on top. Okay. This is a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot going on, man. And there you go. I feel like I did something really productive today, Frank. Thank you so much, you guys. You're welcome. The Richter Tavern. You have to come check them out. So many different options on the menu. Frank's just killing it in the kitchen. You got steak, sushi, pizzas, baked goods. You even have these beautiful wonton chips topped with tuna and shrimp. I mean, this is where it's at, man. All right, grab one with me. We're going in. You All ready? Right, we're going. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Y'all, these are messy. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Give me some elbow. Bam! <laughs> this is how you start your meal. I tell you what, you might finish it this way too. It's a lot of food. They're not playing games out here. Next on Texas Eat, we cruise to a food truck making some of the best bone-in fried chicken in the Alamo City. Texas Eats is coming right back after the break. We're heading to the north side of San Antonio to grub on some classic southern style fried chicken. Let's see what's on the menu at Crispy Fried Chicken. We have a few other spices, so we have a hot and then a hot hot. Yeah. And it's just basically upon request, but we always kind of give the regular unless anybody asks otherwise. If you want to get crazy, you, you want to get, get crazy. crazy. We can do it. <laughs> we can do it. Born out of a childhood love of some good old fried chicken, Crispy Fried Chicken isn't afraid to spice it up to your liking. You go spicy, go crazy. Go spicy, live your life.
joining us now is the owner and cook out here at the food truck. This is Chris Bosmans. Thank you so much for having us, brother. Thanks, man. Thank and you. right behind us, you brought out all the goods. You got your side items. You have your main entree, which is the chicken, plus you got sandwiches and fries. Talk to me about the concept. How did it all get started? About a year ago, my wife and I had been trying to open up a bunch of different restaurants multiple times. And the last one we got super close on, but it just kind of fell through at the very, very end. And so we talked about it and I said, hey, let's just go ahead and just do the food truck. Let's see what happens. Let's get our food out there, see if people actually like what it is we're doing. So I started frying chicken for about a year in the front yard because she was tired of smelling the fried chicken in the house. And then we kind of landed on what we landed on and then we just kind of ran with it from there. So Fried chicken though, is that something that, you know, a grandmother, an aunt, an uncle, grandpa, who was doing it? No, so when we moved to San Antonio in 96, we would go to churches every Friday. I fell in love with fried chicken then. That was like my little thing. I, we would eat it every single Friday, the honey bang biscuits or the honey butter biscuits is what they had. And so I've always loved chicken. It's chicken and tacos are like my one and two. And so <laughs> yeah. everyone's already doing tacos in town. So I was like, I'm gonna roll with chicken. And what's the flavors? Are you like, is it a brining process? What is that? No, so we marinate overnight it's got to be at least 12 hours or 24 24 is obviously way better and then we use a chicken spice on top basically just a medley of different spices salt we have a few other spices so we have a hot and then a hot hot yeah and it's just basically upon request but we always kind of give the regular unless anybody asks otherwise if you want to get crazy you, you want to get, get crazy, crazy. <laughs> we can do it we can do it and then you got mac right here you also have this looks like the spice mac. Spicy is this the same mac. mac that was in yeah here? so we use the spicy mac on that one i think the spicy mac just has so much more flavor yeah uh, we use like a little bit of a chipotle kind of mix and it gives it like a nice smoky kind of spicy flavoring to it. It's not gonna kill you unless yep. you want it to and it's up to you. <laughs> and on this tray, you actually have fried chicken, not yes. just the chicken tenders. This is the real deal, plus Correct. you got the biscuits on there. Correct. Talk to me about the process of making the chicken. So I dip it in a, basically a wet mix. And so what we do is it kind of gives it a bit, a bit more of like almost like a funnel cake shell, more of a crunchy, crispy outside to it. During that year process of me trying to figure out how to fry the right piece of chicken, this is what I had found. And, and over the time of we've been open, we've kind of just slowly changed it and perfected it and, and kind of here is where we landed. All right, cheers to you. Cheers to you. This is the fried chicken out here at the food truck and that's the bite. Woo! It makes give us some love, give us a flip. If it makes your shoulders move, that means it's good. That's a double tap, baby. Whoa. <laughs> so much flavor in the chicken. The pickles on there are a great texture. I love the bite on there. The produce that you got, it also really helps balance out some of the fried item that you have on there, but the sauce, man, that's killing it. And then you got the toasted bread. These are so delicious, and you have so many different options out here, you guys. Crispy fried chicken food truck. You gotta come out to Big Hops. If you love fried chicken, this is one of the best spots you gotta come to in San Antonio to come try this chicken. It'll blow your mind. Go spicy, go crazy. Go spicy, live your life. I'm going back in on that chicken. Get some. I don't even know which one was mine, but I- It don't I'm matter, we're friends now. Yeah, we're friends now. Next on Texas Eats, we take a trip to Dripping Springs for some outstanding barbecue. Don't go anywhere. Texas Eats is coming right back after the break. Today on the Taste of Texas with Shiner Bach Beer, we're at Beerhead Bar and Eatery on the far north side of San Antonio, where they're serving up burgers, pizza, big pretzels, and they got a great space to go enjoy it. Plus, they got Shiner, ice cold Shiner beer on draft. The burgers out there, you can get it with the egg on there. That is actually a really nice bite. You can get the pizzas. Now, they have a breakfast pizza that is over the top. This breakfast burrito is the bite. That is the one to get. I, I took the cap off with my teeth. I went all into the pretzel. Great spot. Go check them out. Beerhead, they're new on the far north side. Plus, safe room for their desserts. That's the team right there. Go check them out. Beerhead Bar and Eatery. Now, we're in Dripping Springs to check out an Oklahoma-style barbecue joint that's cranking out a variety of smoked pork cuts and one serious tomahawk steak. Husband and wife duo, Jamie Dickens and Marcus McNack, run the barbecue trailer. On most days, you can find them serving smoked meats and sides just outside the Deep Eddy Vodka Distillery. My husband is our pit master. He's from Oklahoma and he grew up with Oklahoma style barbecue. The spice rubs and things that he's developed in time are, are from family history, from his father, and are a little bit different than what people find in typical Texas barbecue. 
pork ribs. You cannot go wrong with pork ribs. What are y'all doing to those that make it different than other places? We take things just a little bit more heat, a little bit more flavor mm -hmm. than you would find in just salt, pepper, garlic. All right, so I'm gonna take a bite of this one. You wanna take one with me? Sure, let's do it. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my goodness. It's just a bold layer of flavor on the outside. I love the sauce. That's our pork belly burnt ends. That's one of our most popular first to sell out. Those are the epitome of spicy, sweet, fatty pork candy. Okay, that's the inside, that's the bite. Amazing. I like the sweet on there, really plays nice with the fat. That is a really good bite. Right next to that, are those rib tips? Those are rib tips. Gotta have the rib tips. It's the sweetest part of the pig. Cheers, the rib tips. Oh. We have our chopped brisket, which is typically used in sandwiches. Um, we have our jalapeno sausage, again, because all of our pork has to be just a little <laughs> spicy. And then our pulled pork, which also goes on our sandwiches, our bowls, our nachos. And then our brisket style smoked turkey, um, which surprises people with how moist it is. So we have our country style potato salad, which is a mustard based potato salad, our smoked queso mac and cheese, and then our barbecue pit beans. Um, and then the center, because this is Austin, Texas, and yeah. you just cannot bother to operate <laughs> in a vodka distillery without a queso on the menu. Thank you so much for oh, showing so us welcome. everything that you have on the menu, but we're gonna go inside of the truck right now with your husband, and he's gonna cook up something for us from start to finish. What is he making? He is making you our three pound tomahawk ribeye. <laughs> also come with smoked bone marrow and a side of duck fat butter. Wow. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers. All right, let's go make a tomahawk. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Marcus, the pit master and owner, grew up around barbecue and live fire cooking. I got into barbecue as a kid. My uncle ran a juke joint in the eastern part of Oklahoma. And to keep my little nosy rear end out of grown folks' business, he gave me a poker and said, hey, tend the fire. It gave me something to do. <laughs> and it was just fun. Now, Marcus is preparing for us a smoked tomahawk ribeye. Make sure to order these ribeyes at least 24 hours in advance. The three pound steak gets smoked for up to four hours until the internal temperature reaches 122 degrees. It then gets seared over open fire and basted with clarified butter and duck fat. The steak gets pulled from the fire and allowed to rest for 10 minutes before slicing and served with smoked bone marrow. Thank you so much for having us out here. You guys, Crimson Creek Smokehouse up here in Dripping Springs. Amazing food, great people. Cheers. Cheers. That's the bite. That is real good. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Texas Eats. And to get more information and a map on all the restaurants that you've seen on today's show, just go to our website, TexasEatsTV.com. Don't forget to follow us on social media at Texas Eats TV on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to join us every Saturday at 10 o'clock in the morning and 11 o'clock at night right here on KSAT 12, because this is how Texas Eats. Hungry for more Texas Eats? Be the first to check out our exclusive content by searching Texas Eats on YouTube. Plus, get notifications when we upload new content by subscribing to our channel. We're showcasing the best bites from across the Lone Star State, including burgers, pizza, barbecue, and tacos. Search for Texas Eats, subscribe to our channel, and watch Texas Eats anytime on YouTube. Shiner has sent me on a mission to travel all across the Lone Star State pairing great food with ice cold Shiner beer. Join me every Saturday at 10 o'clock in the morning on KSAT 12 for great recipes and delicious restaurants. Shiner, the official beer of Texas Eats.